Renaissance Robotics is a kid-driven third-year team made up of a dozen mostly homeschooled, fun-loving kids. One unique idea on a robot is their ball basket. It both opens a ramp to guide the balls and tilts to make sure all balls are released perfectly. During the autonomous period, collisions that can throw a robot off happen, so we created a gyroscopic correction program that puts us back on track. The same program also allows for accurate turning and finding which way the robot is oriented. During driver's practice, we realized our robot moved too fast to grab goals without pushing them away. This was easily corrected with an accuracy mode, which, at the click of a button, and have our motor power, causing us to move at a slower speed so that we can get very precise movements. Because it's always important to make sure you can build what you plan, we first decided what we wanted a robot to do by which meet, then catted it before the physical building process. While our main goal is to have a strong autonomous and in-game scoring, we were able to support our partner by either playing offense or defense, depending on what our partner is capable of. Our driver coach keeps score during the match, so if the opposing alliance is lagging behind, we can score for them, getting us more ranking points. To make our robot stand out, we added color-changing LED lights and covered some of our parts in black duct tape. Said part is a carefully planned funnel that feeds into our intake system, and it fits perfectly thanks to catting it beforehand. The inspiration for our linear slide came from the industrial machine, the forklift. We used PTC, Creo, and SolidWorks along with hand drawn and drawings to better explain things to others and make sure all components work the way we want to. Tank drive controls combined with our accuracy mode allow everyone to drive our robot. Our robot is robust, accurate, and reliable. We were the winning alliance captain at Meet 1. We use SolidWorks and PTC Creo to help model our robot beforehand, determining dimensions and properties before we built. Because we wanted to get more things done at once, we designed a robot where the linear slide and basket could be attached later on, so our programmers got the bot right after we got our drivetrain done. We prototype everything from our basket to goal grabber out of cardboard, then use that as a template for our final component. At the start of the season, we wrote up a schedule and have been sticking to it, keeping ourselves on track. Our team has a unique system to rank each member's skills. We use a knight squire page system so we know who's at what level in a certain area. Each of our members is a knight in some area, squire in another, and page in another category. Our knights train our squires and pages, which helps us effectively cross-train each other and divide up the work evenly. Everyone on our team gets a say in what happens, conflicts are resolved with votes, and we make sure everyone is okay with the final outcome. Before tournaments, we make lists of everything that needs to get done a week or two in advance and assign people to work on tasks. Our team members are always keen on explaining first to other people. We've gotten to the point where we can explain first easily to everyone. Our love for outreach and grace of professionalism has earned us the title of First in Florida Showcase Team. Renaissance Robotics has done numerous demos including the Engineering, Construction, and Contractors Association and Conference in the Orlando Maker. We mentor Junior FLL, FLL, and FTC teams. We set our budget at $4,000 and to date have raised $4,260 with our multi-step fundraising plan.